Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Mestry, and today I'm here to talk to you about using Raspberry Pi as a desktop computer. So I am in eighth grade I'm in it, and am a student at Lake Middle School in Woodbury, Minnesota. I was first introduced to engineering on my school's robotics team, as well as my school's STEM class. They help spark my interest to engineering, as well as the fact that my dad's an engineer and I look up to him. When I first told my grandma that I was doing a project involving the Raspberry Pi, she thought it was an actual Raspberry Pi. But it's much more than a Pi. It's a single board computer that can do so many different things. Like, for example, they're usually used as an embedded computer or a high-powered microcontroller. I am using a Raspberry Pi 3B+. The version of Linux I'm running is Raspbian version 9 Stretch. I'm using a 1080p monitor, and I'm also using a wireless keyboard and mouse. So most kids my age at my school use a laptop uh, to do their schoolwork. So that's why I am comparing the Raspberry Pi to a laptop. So some negatives, unlike a laptop, you have to make your Raspberry Pi. So that means you have to get the Raspberry Pi case, SD card, monitor, HDMI cable, mouse, and more. It may take longer to turn on, and it might be a little slower than in a laptop. Some positives, it's a lot less expensive than a laptop, and there are a ton of other uses for Raspberry Pi other than being a desktop computer. Also, with the Raspberry Pi, you get to choose the size of your monitor and keyboard, versus on a laptop, it's made small and portable. So the good news is almost everything worked. The websites I used worked as well as the school projects I completed on it. Most projects I made were on Google Apps, but for one class I had to clip together a lot of short videos and edit them to make a newscast. I've always been learning parts of Python here and there, so I decided to see if the Raspberry Pi could handle the job. I use a Python book that calls for Python 3 Idle which works out really well because the Raspberry Pi comes pre-installed with it. The Raspberry Pi also comes pre-installed with 10 other programming sites like Scratch and BlueJay Java. There's almost an unlimited amount of games you can play on this, old or new. There's a couple different kinds of applications you can play your games on. Like, for example, you can go on Terminal and get some games off there, or you could just play the games the Raspberry Pi comes pre-installed with. The game's sound is quiet from my monitor, so I decided to hook up my Bluetooth speaker to it, and that made the qual quality and the sound a lot louder. Google Apps didn't load on Firefox, so I tried loading it on Google Chrome, and it ended up working. Compared to a laptop computer, the Raspberry Pi takes up a lot more space, because the Raspberry Pi is a mouse, keyboard, and monitor versus on my old laptop, the keyboard, mouse, and monitor are all made connected and together. This can be especially annoying for me since I already have to fit all my school supplies on it, like my binder and notebooks on my desk. So ra I, Raspberry Pi, Linux, and everything else went smoothly, except for the fact it can take a while for web pages to load. The websites I tested worked except for Google Apps, which would only load on Google Chrome. So I would say the Raspberry Pi and Linux can be used for kids' schoolwork and at home. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler.